Chapter 12. Fuzzy Monkey Technologies Incorporated purchased as a long-term investment uh, for $80 million of 8% bonds dated January 1st on January 1st, 2013. Management has the positive intent and ability to hold the bonds until maturity. For bonds of similar risk and maturity, the market yield was 10%. The price paid for the bond uh, was uh, $66 million. Interest is received semi-annually on June 30 um, and December 31st. Due to changing market conditions, the fair value of the bonds at December 31, 2013 was $70 million. Required. Prepare the journal entry to re record Fuzzy Monkey's investment on January 1, 2013. Requirement two: Prepare the journal entry by Fuzzy Monkey to record a uh, two-record interest on uh, June 30, 2013, at uh, the effective rate. We need to prepare the amortization table. cost and carrying value. market rate also. Prepare the journal entry for Fuzzy Monkey to report interest on December 31st, 2013 at the effective rate. So what is the amortization table? Amortization table consists of, of such calls as period, Coupon rate, market rate, amortized cost, and carry value. For example, here we have two periods, June 30, 2013, and December 31, 2013. Coupon rate is 4% and market rate is 5%. Uh, we have the face value, face amount of 80 million, so we need to multiply 80 million by our coupon rate and uh, it will be $3.2 million. And then we have carrying value of $66 million and we need to multiply by our market rate, that which will be $3.3 .3 million. And the difference between these numbers will be um, minus $0.1 million. So, $66 million plus 0 0.1 million will be 66.1 million. On December 31st, uh, we have the difference of minus $105,000 and the carry value will be 66 million 
205,000. When one company buys the stock of another company, um, the amount of influence it has now um, over this another company's business uh, can be divided into three categories. Um, it is lack of significant influence, uh, significant influence, and control. significant influence. And also the securities can be divided by the three types. Held to maturity, trading securities, and available for sale securities. What is how to maturity securities? So, um, companies that bought the securities is willing to wait until the maturity um, of this stock for for it to them to sell. And trading securities is for short-term trading, and available for sale securities are those that are not held to maturity or trading, so they're just available for sale. Let's go. What is net assets? Net assets is assets minus liabilities. You, we can say that it's like uh, the amount is equal to equity. So in equity method, if we have significant influence here, we use equity method. And also we have such term as a fair value option. It's when the company wishes to um, make a fair value adjustment. Why do we need a fair value adjustment? Uh, because uh, the prices on the market actually uh, go up and down always and the price is not fixed and in order to kind of show that in our financial statements we need to make these adjustments that will show uh, that will show this fluctuation of prices because without that uh, for example we buy the stock for uh, 30.2 dollars and then we sell for 35 dollars so that means we have an unrealized gain, and if we sell it for less than 13.5, um, that means that we have an unrealized holding loss. Let's record several transactions. First one, on December 12th, we purchased FF and G Corporation bonds for $12 million. So how should we reflect it on our adjusting entries? We should debit investment in this bonds and credit cash because we purchased and cash is being decreased and investment is uh, kind of like is an asset and when the asset increases it goes into debit side.